How's it going, bro? So, part four of my looks waxing guide is discussing hair. Now, the ideal haircut that what I've seen works on basically any face shape is get a short on the size like I get one and two inch blended into each other, and then like medium length on top. Like, I've got a haircut about two weeks ago now, so it's grown out a bit, but you can get like the general sort of haircut I've been going for, you've probably all seen in my other videos. I found this is generally what works best on guys. Now if you want to get a bit more technical about things, which frankly I haven't really done, but I think if you want to go really deep into it, go and check what your face shape is. This involves like taking measurements on this part of your face, this part of your face and like the length. And then you can find recommendations online on what your ideal haircut would be. And I'm pretty sure this sort of haircut will actually come up quite often. So this is a safe bet if you don't want to go through all the trouble, but if you do want to, then by all means. I like to use some sort of hair product as well. I genuinely believe as soon as your hair grows out a bit, you should be using some sort of hair product. So I've experimented with gel, clay, putty, and there's another thing was called pomade. And in my, like for my hair and all of that, uh, Patty turns out to be the one that works best for me and I actually imagine that will be the case for a lot of men. Jaw for me I don't think works to work for most people. So I think then you are left with like putty or clay. The thing I like about putty is I put the stuff in but you can tell I can mess, mess around with my hair quite a bit. Put it back into place immediately as well. So I like that kind of aspect of the putty but this is your decision to figure out what to do there. I do want to make a quick note though. There are downsides in terms of using hair products and that is it does lower your testosterone. So I personally don't think the downside is that significant. But some sort of decision you can be making for yourself where there's actually worth the lower testosterone. I personally think it is, but again, that's up to you. The way I balance it is, as I said, for about the first week or so of having my hair cut, I actually don't put any product on whatsoever. Other than that, I do think you should maintain your haircut. So, if, especially if you're going for a shorter haircut, I personally go for a haircut every three weeks. If you have a bit longer, maybe wait around for four weeks, but I would say anything longer than about four and a half, five weeks then you are going to look a bit untidy. I do want to make one last point though. As I'm making these looks maxing videos, every time it's occurring to me that this is an important part for young men to like develop with the way they look. I mean, that is one of the fundamentals of attraction that attracting a nice feminine woman is important because then you can have a proper woman by your side, but also a dependable, beautiful woman looking after your children. But I do want to emphasize that there are much more important aspects of your development than looks. This is almost almost feeding your feminine energy, which almost works against the relationship. So if you're going through a, a few weeks where you are researching looks vaccine, then yes, I don't think there's a problem with that. But spending the rest of your life looking how to increase your looks in this respect, in that respect, I do think that's not going to help you or your relationship. I am making a full looks maxing series on my channel. This is video four. I've planned another two videos and then that's that. And I do think these six videos is going to be more than enough. You watch my six videos and that's your looks vaccine done. But that's my take at least. I'll see you in the next one, bro. It's becoming a better man.